not a lot happening yesterday. Besides the MLB draft, uh, the Tigers being off. Oh, and the Indians losing four to nothing. There was nothing to do. But I love you guys, and welcome to an all-new edition of All Andy Alford right here on Clay Fan Two, Three. I am your host, Andrew Alford. I gotta tell you, it's been a very boring 24 hours in the world of sports with the NA, with the uh, MLB draft, and the, of course the Indians losing. We'll start off with those guys. I lost yesterday four to one to the Boston Red Sox. That's Dice K. Matsuzaka gets the win. He goes to five and two with a 4.9 ERA. Carmona gets the loss. He goes to four and five with a 3.49 ERA. No home runs for Boston. Austin Kearns homer for the Tribe. At the time was three hours even in front of 14,758 for Boston. To our Boston Red Sox series. Come on. Tonight, game two of the four game set, we'll have Tim Wakefield, 1 4 with a 6.02 ERA, taking on David Huff, who's 2 and 6 with a 6.08 ERA. A lot of runs will be probably scored in this one. That game is on ST. ST 705. All the Tigers were off yesterday, and, um,. We'll preview that series just a little bit. Uh, yesterday in the MLB, it was Seattle 4, Texas 2, Chicago 6, Pittsburgh 1, San Diego 3, Philadelphia 1, San, San Francisco 6, Cincinnati 5, Houston 1, Colorado 5, the Angels 4, Oakland 2, and Arizona beating up on Atlanta 7-4. to four. The Tigers were off yesterday, of course, so uh, they'll start a three-game road set with the Chicago White Sox tonight. It'll be Armando Galarraga, 2-1 with a 2.57 ERA, and I still consider Saturday, not Saturday, Wednesday, start as a perfect game. I don't care. You People can come on the air and say, well, it's not a perfect game. It's not in the record books, blah, 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 blah. It's a perfect game. If it smells like a perfect game, it looks like a perfect game. Gal Rockets 2 and 1 with a 2.57 ERA. He'll take on Cliff Floyd, who's 2 and 6 with a 6.64 ERA. That game is on FSN Detroit tonight at 8:10. Wednesday, Ozzy Guillen. Wednesday and Thursday, Ozzy Guillen. It's not posted who he's going to throw out on the mound, but the Tigers will throw uh, Rick Porcello, who's 4 and 5 with a 5.25 ERA. And Thursday will show Matt Scherzinger, who is 2 and 5 with a 6.65 ERA. Wednesday's game is an 8-10 start, and then Thursday's is a 2-0-5 start. Uh, this evening will be Steven Strasburg. First game as a uh, professional player, as a professional major league player. He'll take on the Pittsburgh Pirates, and that game is on MLB Network. I'll be watching that game, and I'll be flipping back and forth between the Tigers and Steven Strasburg. The hand split double dip last night uh, against the Rochester Red Wings. They lost the first game 15-3. Ten runs in the first inning. Lugo got the loss. He goes to 1-3 with a 9 ERA. Perkins gets the win. He goes to 1-6 with a 7.36 ERA. That game was a seven-inning game. The time was two hours in 11 minutes. Repecto homered for the Wings. No home runs for the Mud Hens. Game two saw the Mud Hens winning six to two. Gardner got the win. He goes to three and two with a 2.22 ERA. Fox gets the loss. He goes to four and three with a 2.76 ERA. Lou, uh, Brent Delugich and Jeff Larish homered for the Mud Hens, and Paul Lang homered for the Red Wings in front of 4,263. Now, Jim Weber was talking after game one that the fans were leaving the Rochester ballpark. They didn't realize that there's two games going on. Come on. After this series, now Toledo will now go to Buff go to Lehigh Valley. Buffalo is the next series. 
We'll go to Lehigh Valley now, take on those pesky pigs, and the game time tonight is 7.05 will be Alfredo Figueroa, who's 4-3 and three with a 4.73 ERA, taking on Nate Bump, the former Mutt Hen, and the pretty good pitcher the other night uh, against the Mutt Hens, 5-3 with a 2.69 ERA. Scott Hartnell. A R N I E L. Is your new coach for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Welcome to Columbus, Scott. Uh, Scott was picked up from the Manitoba Moose. He uh, is a former player in the NHL. He used to play for the Winnipeg Jets. And he also played for the San Diego Goals of the ECHL, the former ECHL team. And uh, Hartnell is his record all time. All time record. His winning rec his wins are one hundred and eighty one. He has hundred and six losses. Thirty three overtime losses and he has three hundred and thirty five three hundred and ninety five points. He's lost in the first round, the second round, and the finals of the I of the AHL Calder Cup. All I can say is welcome to Welcome to Columbus, Scott. Uh, you're going to have a great club with you. You're going to have Rick Nash. You're going to have Steve Mason, Derek Broussard, uh, Christian Husalius, Mike Commodore. He's going to have a great cr group of kids, and he's going to lead that club, I think, to the promised land. Not not to the championship. Not in his first year, but I guarantee he'll make a playoff run. And I'll give my NHL preview after the draft. Uh, the first week of the season, excuse me. And we'll, we'll do the review for this season when the NHL Finals end. Of uh, this episode of All Andy Alfred, the recommendation of the day, Fritos, the official official snack of the minor league baseball. It's great uh, with nacho cheese, original and new ballpark nachos. Very yummy. I'm Andrew Alfred. I hope you have. I know that, that was a lame commercial. I'm sorry, folks, but they're pretty good. I'll admit that. I'm Andrew Alford. I hope you have a excellent day. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together, and especially to the Mud Hens, the Tigers, the Indians, and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Victory is sweet when you have tasted defeat. Have a nice night, everybody.